<sighs> okay, I am live. And let me grab my phone here so I can see comments on my phone. I am Debbie Sardone, founder and president of Buckets and Bows Maid Service. And I'm sitting here in my kitchen. And I wanted to share something with you. I'm just, I've got my laptop, my amateur camera, my microphone. And I wanted to share something with you in our community that is extremely important. And it's a mistake that I see people make, business owners in particular that are open for business, that um, I wanted to share with you around cleaning, sanitizing, and the use of disinfectants. So I'm pulling this up live on my phone so I can read the comments. Um, and I wanted to share some tips with you, some things that we've taught our cleaning technicians and especially those businesses that are trying so hard to remain open and keep their customers safe, or you are having to clean and sanitize your own home. I'm going to give you some tips, some things that we've taught our employees, very, very simple. And here's the thing. It's, it's simple to do right and it's simple to do wrong. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. So um, I call this the speed cleaning rule of three when it comes to sanitizing and using disinfectants. So it's the speed cleaning rule of three. Um, some of you know, I'm gonna just set my phone down here. Some of you know that uh, my husband and I own Speed Cleaning, which is a uh, manufacturing and distribution company. We actually manufacture green cleaning products. And so we have a warehouse full of cleaning products, tools and equipment, including rubber gloves. And um, so we're, shipping these things all over the world and you can literally come by our office uh, buckets and bows maid service is located right next door to our warehouse speak cleaning warehouse and we're happy to take uh, any supplies you need to your car you don't even have to come into our warehouse normally it's it's e-commerce and we ship um, through our website but you are more than welcome to do maybe not walk-ins right now but you can place your order let them know you'd like to pick it up and then they'll bring it out to your car. But the reason why I want to do this um, live broadcast today is to explain the rule of three that we've taught to our employees. And if you just get this right, you will be um, in a better position to properly clean your business, your establishment, your office, or your home. So the rule of three, really quick, very simple. The first rule is clean first, then zap. And zap, I simply mean disinfect. So clean first, then zap. So what does that mean? When you are going to disinfect a surface, you should clean it first and then disinfect it. And so in our company, Buckets and Bows Maid Service, we've always used all-purpose cleaner, which is the safest way to clean a house on a regular basis. And that's sufficient in most cases. But when you're trying to sanitize a surface, you clean first with all-purpose cleaner. That's the safest way to clean. And then you follow up with disinfectant. So you clean first. So for example, this is a countertop. If um, you wanted to disinfect this countertop or this table or the back of this chair, you clean it first with all-purpose. You get the gunk off, the crumbs, the fingerprints, the goo, the jelly, the peanut butter, whatever. You clean the surface first and then you zap it by spraying it with a disinfectant and clean it with your disinfectant afterwards. So rule number one, clean first, then zap. Rule number two, spray and stay. So this is the rule I see violated most of the time. People mean well, but they're not actually um, sanitizing the surface they're trying to clean. So what do I mean when I say spray and stay? What that means is you do not, and so I, this is actually an empty spray bottle I found. And if you have concentrate, you wanna follow the instructions on the back of the bottle and mix it up per the instructions and then follow the instructions for dwell time, which I'll explain that in a minute. But spray and stay simply means most people who are doing this incorrectly, and I've already seen two businesses do this this week, They'll spray a surface with their disinfectant and then they'll wipe it immediately. And then they'll spray it a second time and then they'll wipe it immediately. And that is incorrect because the very um, next point is 
on the back of the bottle, it will tell you how much dwell time is required to kill viruses or bacteria. And it's different. It's harder to kill bacteria and germs than it is to kill viruses. Thankfully, the coronavirus is pretty fragile and it is a virus, so it requires less dwell time. So dwell time simply means the amount of time that the liquid stays on the surface. So that's why you don't spray and wipe immediately because it needs, in most cases, it needs 90 seconds of dwell time to kill a virus such as coronavirus. So look at the back of the bottle for instructions on dwell time and make sure you follow that to a T if you want to kill viruses. And so in most cases, it's 90 seconds. Some uh, disinfectant products might require a full two minutes of dwell time. It generally takes about 10 minutes of dwell time with a disinfectant to actually kill bacteria. But again, follow the directions on the bottle. So you let the uh, liquid, the disinfectant, dwell on the surface, generally at least 90 seconds, and then you wipe it up. So that is probably the most critical step of the rule of three right there is the the dwell time. So spray and stay, not spray and wipe. That's rule number two. And then the last rule is what I call once and done. And I think most of us probably violate this all the time. And we're much more aware of this last principle than we've ever been before. So once and done simply means um, use the towel. Let's say you're using a towel. I'm, I've got a whole stack of microfiber towels here and you would use the towel, the clean side. If you're, let's say you're going to disinfect some doorknobs, you would spray it on your towel. You would wipe the doorknob. You would leave the liquid on the doorknob to dwell, or you can hold this under the doorknob and spray the doorknob and, and let it catch the drips and let it dwell. But the once and done principle is you use this surface one time. So you don't, you know, um, what they say is by the third doorknob, you're doing more harm than good. And so you wouldn't clean a doorknob or a light switch plate with this surface and then go clean another one, respray, same dirty side and go clean another doorknob and then spray some more on the same dirty surface and clean another doorknob. So the principle is by the third doorknob, you're doing more harm than good. So the once and done, the rule number three on the once and done is you spray it, you use this side once, you're done with that side. If you're using towels that you can wash, obviously that's much more economical, you can always fold to the clean side, the clean unused side. And then you can go clean the other doorknob or light switch plate or the backs of, of, of chairs if you own a restaurant. So you get a clean side for every surface you're going to clean. So every item or um, doorknob, light switch plate or whatever. And you can keep flipping your towel to find clean sides until you've used all eight sides. So just keep flipping and that's your once and done right there. Or if you're using sanitizing wipes, it's the same principle. It's like, um, here's a Clorox sanitizing wipe, disinfecting wipes. It's, it's instead of once and done in this case, it's once and toss. So by the third doorknob, you're doing more harm than good. You're literally um, spreading the germs around instead of cleaning and disinfecting the surface. So those are just some tips that most people aren't even aware of. We've learned more about sanitizing and disinfecting and using disinfectants than I've ever known in my life in 39 years of business. Uh, my company hired um, a, 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 a world-renowned expert at cleaning and sanitizing surfaces. And his expertise is cleaning environmental surfaces, home and office. So we've hired him to teach us, help us learn more about all of this process so we can keep our customers safe and give good advice to those who are trying to keep their businesses um, clean and, and healthy. So anyway, the rule of three, clean first, then zap. So clean it with an all purpose and then zap it with your disinfectant. Spray and stay, don't just spray and wipe when you are using a disinfectant. 
And of course, the dwell time is going to be determined by the instructions on the back of the bottle. In most cases, 90 seconds for virus, longer for uh, bacteria. And then the third rule is once and done. So if you're using sanitizing wipes, you clean wipe, uh, you clean, you, you use the sanitizing wipe to clean the surface and then toss it. Or you flip to a clean side if you're using towels. So my recommendation is make sure you have a big stack of towels when you're cleaning so that you're not tempted to reuse one. So if, especially if you have a place of business, maybe you're wiping down chairs, then um, use all the clean sides of your towel, toss it, grab another clean one. At Speed Cleaning, we have tons of supplies. If you're out of them or you can't find something at the grocery store, obviously you can purchase from our Speed Cleaning business. We do have our non-toxic cleaning products. This is our signature red juice. It is amazing. It's what we use at Buckets and Bows all the time. And we've also ordered disinfectant and we'll be carrying that on our Speed Cleaning website as well. And if you're local, just let us know you want to come and pick it up so you don't have to pay for shipping. And um, if you can find them, good luck with that. And you can find sanitizing wipes, snatch them up, make sure you buy enough if they will let you at this time, but maybe later when things die down, you'll know how to use your sanitizing wipes once and toss. <laughs> and then of course we carry high end, very thick, high quality microfiber towels, not those cheap little thin ones that you buy from like Amazon and a package of a hundred and they're like little tiny teeny baby washcloths, which are completely useless. So we have microfiber towels and at my office at Buckets and Bows Maid Service, which is right next door to Speed Cleaning, if you're right here in our local community and you're like me, you went to the grocery store this morning and they were completely out of disinfectant by 7.30 this morning, if you will bring your own bottle, so we all call this BYOB, if you'll bring your own bottle to the Buckets and Bows Maid Service office over in Louisville, we're on the east side of town near CCA, not too far, a little bit further south. Um, call ahead, let us know you're coming. Bring your empty spray bottle. You can call from your car when you're in our parking lot. We'll come out and get your bottle. We'll refill it with disinfectant and we'll bring it back to your car just to keep you safe. So if you need some, especially if you're a business and you're running out and you can't find it anywhere, just call us and we'll give you some for free. I'm not gonna sell it to you, it's completely for free. And then Speed Cleaning has ordered several you know, uh, cases of disinfectant concentrate for commercial use. So people that maybe need more of it, you need a gallon of concentrate, we will have that in stock pretty soon. So I hope this helps the rule of three, clean first, then zap, spray and stay, and then once and done. And this is the safest way to sanitize a surface using disinfectant sprays. Thanks, hope that was helpful. Let me check my my comments on my phone because I can't see them on my laptop. Um, I see a, a few people said thank you. So I hope that was helpful. I thought we don't wipe up with disinfectant. No, it just has to dwell for 90 seconds or whatever the bottle says. Uh, that's my disclaimer. Follow the instructions on the bottle because they do vary. But that liquid has to dwell for generally at least 90 seconds. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I just sort of set up a little makeshift video right here in my kitchen to help our local business owners be safe and clean correctly. And uh, if you need any more help with that, just let us know. We'll be happy to guide you over the phone or refill your empty spray bottles if you're running low. Happy to help any way we can. And the good news is Buckets and Bows Maid Service has been deemed essential services. So we are working. Those employees that want to work, some need to stay home, but those employees that want to work and customers who need us, we are there for you now more than ever. Thank you. See if I can end this. Let's see here. Hope you guys have a great night. Let's see. Here we go. Thanks.